Hey dudes, thanks for joining our webcast here at MikeChurch.com. We've been watching our little website grow over the last three years, and you have made that possible, so thanks. One of the things that I enjoy most in the daily production of the radio show is figuring out how in the wide, wide world of sports we're going to present that show and its highlights on the website. What usually happens that we, is that we take a show segment, extract some of the audio from it, and post it with a brief description. No big deal there. Sometimes we get really inspired and we'll create a graphic in Photoshop. This adds another dimension to the presented segment, and while that's cool, that's cool, and usually has Talcum and I arguing over which one of us is going to hell first because of the graphic, it's still no big deal. Two years ago, I began wondering what the next big thing in radio was going to be. Like the Grinch, I paused and I paused over it until realizing that the next big thing would be an agnostic approach to the delivery mechanism of the show. This means that it would matter less and less where you heard a show, whether through satellite radio, terrestrial radio, your cell phone, the internet, it wouldn't matter. Today, all that is coming to pass is Apple is set to offer its iPhone, which will allow full browsing and plug-in capabilities on cell phones. Now, this new media agnosticism is a very cool thing, and will allow a whole lot of crappy, poorly produced uh, shows and thought content to overwhelm the average dude. This made me think of, okay, what will the next big thing for established radio shows be? That's when I stumbled on the idea that we're here to talk about today. Nearly every decent radio talk show now offers some kind of archive service. The standard setup is a downloadable hour-by-hour -hour podcast of each day's show, which we have been offering since June of last year. This is cool, and many people love it, but it's not putting enough power into your hands to determine what you want to listen to. You may not want to hear an entire segment of me explaining the global warming sham to get to a segment or rant about Manuel famously going down to Georgia. You may want to program your own Mike Church Show playlist, choosing your own subjects, parody songs, or memorable phone calls. And that is what I am proud to introduce to you today, King Dude Classic Radio. Over the last six months, we have been painstakingly cataloging and separating segments of the radio show and then organizing them by categories. We've built a neat little library of over 200 segments and an archive of over 50 parody songs and bits. Your 24-7 backstage pass will now allow you to browse my church show segments by category, description, and air date and download them or play them whenever you want. So far, there were five categories. Manuel went down to Georgia, which is all about illegal immigrants. It's the economy, stupid, which is about the Democrats' takeover of Walmart and such. The religion of peace, which is all about our wonderful practicing uh, Islam folks and suicide bombing. The Iraq war and the potluck category, which includes segments on everything else we talk about here on the program. We've taken all these items and compiled them together into the brand new 24-7 King Dude Classics radio station. It's playing right now. All my church show highlights, the top five liberals say the most damn dumbass things, and my growing library of parody songs all the time. All you need is an internet connection and some speakers. The King Dude's Classics pages are all linked together in your backstage pass menu, and each segment has its own description, allowing you to pick and choose what you'd like to hear. All the classic segments are completely downloadable too, so you can download different segments and build your own playlist. This takes radio listening to new levels of personal choice and convenience. In the next year, we will add over 200 more segments to the classics archives. As a matter of fact, we add new classic segments every day. Some may say, this is simply rearranging the furniture of the website. Much ado about a little something, dude. I disagree. I like to use the analogy of TV shows on DVD or TiVo. If you had the option of buying your favorite TV show on DVD and watching it when you want to watch it, and without commercial interruptions, most people would jump at the opportunity to do just that. That's what King Do Classics will do for the Mike Church Show. I also hope to be able to introduce the show in its highlighted form to thousands of new listeners who currently don't even know the program exists. Well, that's a shame. Broadcasting is changing, and we want to be ahead of that change curve. In 2003, when I signed on to Sirius Satellite Radio exclusively, I was told I was nuts, that satellite radio would never work, blah, blah, blah. 
Well, nearly four years later, and the biggest names in radio are either, are either on or are simulcast on satellite radio. Welcome aboard. There's another reason why I'm doing this video and launching this internet radio station today. Independence. My goal has always been to be the best in this business and to be able to control my content and boundaries. And today I enjoy that kind of control. But I have no control over what's on around me. I want a place to build a place where conservative entertainment has an unashamed home. Notice I said entertainment. Yes, there are conservatives making music today and conservatives making films and TV shows. I want to bring them all together in one place. Look for us to add many other voices to King Dude Classic Radio. If you're a creator of conservative or patriotic media, you need to make sure we get to hear or see what you're doing. Even though the station will keep the King Dude brand name, I can't wait to season it up with the original stuff you dudes and your friends and future dudes will contribute. So send it on. Lastly, let me touch on another subject near and dear to my heart. Studio D, or opera, our operating home, which is featured in our little walkthrough tour post posted below. Since I began this show, the cost to operate it and the website have doubled, while the license fee paid to us by Sirius has increased only marginally. It is only through your subscriptions and purchases in the Dude Gear store that we have survived by the literal seat of our pants like many startup small businesses. I appreciate your generosity, dudes, and hope that you have enjoyed the products and services purchased through the show. We really do. It would surprise some of you to find out that unlike the millionaire success stories in this business, I don't have a prep team. We don't have audio engineers or executive producers or chiefs of staff or a website guy. Nope. All you see and hear is created, programmed, coded, and controlled by two people, myself and Talcum. We're lucky that we love doing this stuff and can make a living at it. I can't imagine doing anything else, so well, that's good. Knowing that, though, keep in mind that uh, keep that in mind when sometimes when a piece of website code breaks, or when a sound clip didn't sound right, or when I sound like I'm in a tin can on the air, or when an order gets lost. This is a small operation, dudes, and we'll get it fixed up for you. But we have a radio show to do first, and so sometimes it may take a day or so. I hope current 24-7 Backstage Pass subscribers heartily approve of the additions we've talked about today. And I also hope many of you people will give the 24-7 Backstage Pass and King Dude Classics Radio a try. You can find out how to describe by clicking that giant subscribe now link below this movie. I believe we are writing what would be just, uh, just be the first chapter or two of a great book. I hope to force myself to write in the next decade or two. I appreciate you watching today. We'll see you on the air this afternoon. The dude is out.